rainforest in the rain. How appropriate. Okay, you guys want a good laugh? So the idea is to go and stay in this little cabin. There, now my feet are wet and I smell like a campfire and I couldn't be happier. Camper is back on the truck and I'm getting ready to bug out of here. But it's real. I'm packing the house, putting some big furniture and kitchen stuff into storage and I'm moving into my camper. Getting a load ready, the very first one to go into storage. I tell you, it is some strange to be packing your things and realize that you may not unpack them for years. So there it is. I'm really going to go vagabond. I'm really going to do it. But because I live in my camper, I get to stay. As long as we're self-contained. There's no more bathrooms. And there's no more people. I'm very fortunate to be where I am. That I get to ride it out here like this in such a beautiful place. Okay, you guys want a good laugh? The deal was, I had to be fully self-contained. So I got it into my pretty little head <laughs> that I was going to hook up the hose and pressurize the system and drain the antifreeze and get the hot water tank lit and then I'd have showers. But I certainly hadn't done a proper job of securing it. Bump this, and the water just flowed out of here. That was an awful lot of water coming out of there really fast. Fun and games of full-time RV living without proper preparation. <laughs> Someday I'm going to have a real shower again and it's going to feel like heaven. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have learned one of the lessons about living in your camper full time. That's right, condensation, and I got a little bit of mold happening. 
I'm gonna need to really dry that thing out and make sure that it's just surface mold and that things haven't that things don't need further remediation. So the idea is to go and stay in this little cabin in this little hobby farm and uh, let's give the camper a chance to air out, do a deep clean, make sure it's safe before I continue living in it full time. cute little cabin with everything I might need you know just the basics all furnished so comfy and cozy I'm only a 10 minute walk from the beach and a 15 minute drive to town it seems like I might just stay put for a little while well I thought I'd take you guys around my new neighborhood
the SPCA club today. They have a little girl who's 11 weeks old. She's a brown tabby. And she's in foster, so I still don't even have a picture. Alright everyone. Are you ready to meet my new forever friend? There she is. 